candidates taking the lead this election cycle as we now look ahead to the general election. Tonight, Eddie Manis and India Kincannon separated themselves from the field of six candidates. Manis ending the night with 38% of the vote, Kincannon with 28%. Marshall Stair took third place with 27%. More results in the mayor's race. Fletcher Burkhart with 3% of the vote, followed by Calvin Skinner. About 80 votes behind, also with 3% of the vote. And then finally, Michael Andrews with just shy of 300 votes or around 2%. Our team coverage begins right now from the Eddie Manis camp. For mayor for Eddie Manis began 18 months ago for Eddie Manis, a businessman who started Prestige Cleaners in 1985 with just three employees. And uh, now there are 11 stores and 150 employees. He told his supporters here tonight he is humbled by the thousands of people who, who voted for him today. And he thanked his staff uh, for their hard work. And Eddie is with us right now. And uh, teenager. Central High School a long time ago, and here yeah. you are tonight. And uh, in two months from now, a big day for you and, and uh, for, your, for your opponent as well. Right. What's Absolutely. today been like? Yeah, it's, it's kind of been. We started early this morning, and, and we were just like almost like the past 14 or 16 months, just kept our head down and just kept working, visiting uh, polling locations and talking to volunteers. And, and at about 7.10 this evening, I looked at my watch and thought, within an hour, you know, I'll, we'll start knowing something. And it really became real to me at that point. Uh, but, you know, it's just, just working hard and, and just keep doing what we've been doing and, you know, keeping the momentum. And uh, we're just very grateful for our volunteers and our staff. When do you start now in the general campaign? Uh, six o'clock in the morning. Six o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Another two more months. Two more months. And somebody said, man, that'll be a long time. I'm like, no, I mean, after 16 months of doing this, and, and I think two months will come very quickly. So we have a lot of work to do, and uh, we need to get started and work really hard. Well, congratulations on, on, on today's uh, first place. And uh, you had told me earlier today you were hoping that you wouldn't have to go into a runoff, but I think you knew inevitably it was going to happen. I knew that was going to be hard to achieve, and yeah. so uh, I'm a realist, and, and I'm fine right where we are. But Eddie Manis, thank you very much. Thanks, Tom. Thanks. So another... Uh, two months, November 5th is the general election. More campaigning lies ahead for Annie Manis and his crew. Bowen, uh, Kristen, back to you. Um, thank you so very much. All right. Now, again, as we mentioned, India Kincannon also advancing in the mayoral race. As a matter of fact, six on your side reporter Elizabeth yeah, Kubel. You know, she's been with the India mm -hmm. Kincannon campaign all night long. She joins us live with all the latest. Elizabeth. Hey guys, well things are very much settled down here right now. A 180 shift from just about an hour ago when this place erupted with cheers and applause. India Kincannon supporters learning that their candidate would advance to the general election. Kincannon said she is overwhelmed with gratitude and a thank you speech, feeling happy that her message resonated with the people of Knoxville. Emotions have certainly been high here tonight as supporters watched the votes trickle in a close race between Kincannon and Stair for much of the night. Of course, Kincannon advancing. And I asked her, though, what was going through her head? What were her thoughts during that time? We had a plan and we worked our plan and we left it all on the field and that's all you can do. And, you know, I uh, was channeling my inner pet summit and just knowing that all we can do is our best practice hard and uh, leave it all on the court, as she would say. Now, as for what's next, Kim Cannon told me that she plans to take one day off, get some rest, recuperate, and then she will get right back at it, listening to voters and going to meetings as she prepares for the November election. We're live in Knoxville. I'm Elizabeth Kubel, WATE 6 on your side. All right, Elizabeth, thank you very much. And many of you, I know we noticed mm -hmm. as well, those votes coming in a little later than normal this election cycle, and local election officials say that there is a reason for that. That's right. We are told that there were some technical difficulties counting the votes tonight. Officials saying no votes were lost, but some of the machines were stuck in what they call test mode, and they had to actually manually add those results in. The data is there, but we've got to take those totals and then add them in there. And of course, that's going to require at least a Republican and a Democrat, even though this is a nonpartisan city election. 
You got to be fair, but again, it did delay results. Yeah. So many people thinking they'd be out by 9 o'clock tonight, and they just weren't. If you missed any of our election coverage, though, or want another look at all of the numbers, we do have that for you on our free news app and also on our website. Just go to WATE.com on our homepage and click on the election banner right there near the top of your screen. And, of course, we'll have much more coming up for you later on tonight. And, of course, as we mentioned, go to WATE.com.